Look yeah. at the media coverage. They wanted to paint everyone there as either part of a militia or at the very least creating civil unrest. So isn't this a brilliant ploy? The Second Amendment should apply to everyone except for those who may want to cause civil unrest or intimidate people. Really, what qualifies as civil unrest or intimidating people? Everyone at this rally or anybody with a Facebook post that says, Governor Ralph Northam, go home or kick Northam out. We're hearing kill, kill. We're hearing they should forego their Second Amendment rights. Question of the day, uh, have you, or had you been following rather, the media's coverage of the Virginia protests, the firearm protests, and, and based on the media's coverage and the media's maybe perception, what was your impression of the rally? Now, I don't want you to cheat, Comment right now, pause before you watch this entire segment, because obviously this segment will act as a cheat sheet. It will. Spoiler alert, alert. it's not what we were sold. So, <laughs> go figure. Um, yesterday, for those who don't know, there was the, uh, the rally in, uh, in, in Richmond, Virginia. This is the all worrisome, violent, massive pro-gun demonstration uh, that we were told uh, for which to, to hide our kids. The governor, of course, Ralph Northam, and uh, many in the media, they've, they've consistently misrepresented this whole... Is yes. And by the way, we were fooled. We were planning on yep. going down to this rally ourselves and instead opted to go to a women's march rally in Texas, which ended up being far more violent because <laughs> I was assaulted by not one, but two, count them, two transgenders. Yeah. Hmm. Not the oh. one gender dysphorian, <laughs> two. Two gender dysphorians. Oh, ah, gosh. Ah, ah, you obsessive, <laughs> compulsive count. All right. <laughs> So uh, here's what I want to do. I want to uh, kind of shoot you straight, set the record straight between what the media was claiming would or did go down versus what actually happened. Okay. So uh, claim number one, everyone's been following this here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that this event. was, uh, th th they were protesting, the people who were showing up were protesting bills that were simply about common sense gun control. This right. is the claim. We see this a lot. Uh, for context, by the way, again, the person making this claim was. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, take yeah. it with a grain of salt. Ah, hmm. By the way, I still don't think we know whether he is the one in the hood yeah. or the yep. one in the shoe polish. You decide which is worse. Yeah. <laughs> there is no safe out here. It's a shot. Yeah. Do we know? I, I don't yeah. think we know. I have no idea. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. Yeah, um, anyway. And something, too, that you've seen with the media, they've really tried to minimize the laws. Again, this term yeah. common sense gun control is thrown out a lot. And I think everyone is on board with common sense gun control. But people wouldn't be on board with this bill if they understood that common sense gun control already exists. So yeah. let's see how this bill was described by those in the media and in turn painting the people who were protesting it. Tensions have been rising since Democrats regained control of the state legislature and proposed several gun control bills, like including limiting yeah. handgun purchases <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be scared and requiring I see all those guns. I, go, I want to go to there. Things like a universal <laughs> background check, a red flag measure, uh, also limiting citizens to one handgun purchase a month, also giving greater authority to local governments to ban uh, guns or weapons in public spaces, for instance, uh, at protests. Uh, so those are a couple of the That'll measures that we'll have already that, cleared yeah. a Senate committee. In Virginia Beach this weekend, we we lost 12 precious lives. We have four individuals that are currently fighting for their lives. And, you know, Virginians have spoken and said it's time for us as legislators and as their governor to act. Wait, was that governor? That was Governor Ralph Northam? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't recognize him without the. <laughs> 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 That's what he was. Oh asking if you could leave yeah. the lights on because he gets a little scared of the dog yeah. sometimes. Mr. Jingles, <laughs> sorry, I did not know him without the whole. You got a, oh in gosh. context. Racist right? kitten True. caboodle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That'll do it. So, again, yeah, to be own. clear, they, the media was actually correct about that. These bills or the bill, proposed legislation yeah. would um, limit magazines that hold 10 or more rounds, uh, require some additional background checks, even though we have background checks, right. uh, turn all state owned and leased buildings into gun free zones. Yeah, limiting purchases to one handgun a month. And a big one strip parents of the right to decide when their child is responsible enough to access a firearm. Mm -hmm. And by the way, mm -hmm. a lot of people who may sound horrified who aren't firearm people, kids can learn how to shoot pretty young, certainly yeah. younger than 18. Some of the best competitive shooters 
in the country uh, are in their teens. And a big thing, we'll come back to this, they would also ban the public assembly of armed individuals who have the intent of intimidating others. And that really matters because specifically you'll see it was conflated with the idea intent to intimidate others uh, with militia language. You heard a lot about yeah. militia. Uh, this could be training militia. Conflation. These could be militia people. These could be these could, the militia, 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 militia. Which part of your ass is a well-regulated militia? All of it. <laughs> and that's a large ass. And that is significant. And for people who don't necessarily, and we'll get to some more claims in a second, some people say, well, why would you ever need uh, more than 10 rounds? You saw this in California, right, with right. the bullet button. And it's, I think now, actually, it's even hard to purchase ammo in California. Why would anyone need a 10-round magazine? And this is my biggest problem with the firearm legislation that they propose. Um, macro, why is it my business? There are plenty of people and there are plenty of reasons that someone could need more than 10 rounds in a firearm. I've had people ask me live on air in Russia today, why would you ever need more than one firearm? Uh, I don't know, because I have more than one room? <laughs> what am I doing? Ch the guy's going to be yeah. chasing me around the kitchen. I'm sweetie, quick, 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 get to the, get to the guest room. Get to the, what is it in the guest room? It's the den, it's the den, get to the den. <laughs> no, I have a flip switch and things that uh, rotate uh, with a firearm in every single room. <laughs> It is a mechanism. But here, let me give you a specific reason. It shouldn't matter why someone needs more than 10 rounds no. in a magazine. Uh, but practically speaking, the average number of rounds fired in an encounter with a criminal is 3.6. About 3.6. Yeah. Keep in mind, that's the average. Now, let's think about that for a second, okay? Let's say maybe you're not an average shooter. Maybe you're not like Bill, who's a competitive right. shooter, who's very good. Maybe you are like most women who purchase a firearm, go to the range every now and then to stay sharp enough and then either keep it next to your bed, uh, keep it in your purse, which is ill-advised, or keep it on your person, but you're not a great shot. Now let's add two intruders. Yeah, yeah. You're out of luck. What if there's three? <laughs> By the way, criminals, in case you hadn't known when they're committing violent crimes, they tend to travel in packs. Yeah. <laughs> Just and not, to yeah, give you time to reload either. Exactly. They're not gonna pause. No so for a very practical <laughs> reason, and this is something else a lot of people don't know, there's a reason that police officers switched to semi-automatics. They realized that they were being outgunned often on the street. Before that, the standard was revolvers. I'm a big revolver guy. But it's not my business to tell somebody how many rounds they can have in a magazine, especially when the cutoff is arbitrary. And for all intents and purposes here, someone could very easily cross that threshold into needing more than 10 rounds. It's not like it's some unreasonable number to think of this. Right. Someone might need yeah. 15 rounds. The most popular firearms in the country hold more than 10 rounds. That's why they have to be ad adapted for sh all states like California. <laughs> I think this is pretty important. And, and to go uh, back to the idea of civil disorder, and they talk about militias. Well, here's the thing. People talk about maybe some people who might want to cause civil disorder or people who might want to join militias. And what they try and do is inextricably tie militias with neo-Nazis. Right. But hold on a second. If we're talking about civil disorder or militias, that's exactly why the Second Amendment was written. Yeah. I know you may not like those terms, but guess what? Uh -huh. It was for people who may want to cause some kind of civil disorder against a tyrannical government yeah. and creating yeah. their own militia. Now, I know people think the militia was the military. No, that's why it says militia, comma, the right of the people to keep and bear arms mm. shall not be infringed. What do the framers of the Constitution have to say about that? Who's the militia? Well, let's go to uh, George Mason. June 16th, 1788, I will quote directly. I ask, who are the militia? They consist now of the whole people, except uh, a few public officers. Because they're jerks. Which would actually suggest the opposite. <laughs> Either he didn't think that government officials would carry firearms, or there were a few public officials who uh, had made George Mason's hit list. <laughs> like, he didn't want that, them to do yeah, so He was, he was writing it with his quill with them in the room. Everyone is to keep and bear arms, except for Carl. <laughs> 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 That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and by the way, these are just the bills that have been proposed so far. There are more in the works, of course, including red flag laws, which nobody can clearly define, including people we've yeah. had on this show. And by the way, this is, okay, another claim that they made was that this was going to be, of course, a neo-Nazi rally, oh boy. a gathering uh. of white supremacists, even going so far as comparing it directly to Charlottesville, everywhere. Oh, gosh. Richmond, Virginia is on high alert this morning before a gun rights rally that local authorities fear could turn violent. The FBI and local law enforcement say they've received credible threats of violence. Organizers say tens of thousands of people, including white supremacist groups and militias, may gather in the former Confederate capital again? today, yeah. where right Democrats are proposing new gun laws. No one it. wants another incident 
like the one we saw in Charlottesville in 2017. Wait, is the guy standing behind that man, Northam? We will not allow that <laughs> yeah, mayhem weird framing. Yeah. and violence. <laughs> Why would the governor this is what I look like. The official <laughs> city will avoid another Charlottesville. When a neo-Nazi rally in 2017 ended in the death of a counter-protester. Okay, so that was the claim. The truth... Okay, there were some white supremacists there. But it wasn't the protesters. Uh, yeah, it right. was That's not the protesters in question. As a matter of fact, listen to what this non-governor protester has to say. I do not support in any way, shape, or form Governor Northam's and the Democrats' gun control. Northam's gained what weight. I also don't support is the fact that every news piece you've seen on this this weekend, they've always brought up the issue of race, as though it's nothing but white rednecks and hillbillies out here who care for the Second Amendment, when actually black Americans, Asian Americans, Hispanic Americans, Americans in what, what? general Americans. care about the Second Amendment. No. Oh, man. Gosh, I well, didn't know embarrassing. That black people like man. to show up to these rallies. That's weird. Better get more <laughs> shoe polish, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. so terrible. All right. Hey, by oh the way, gosh. hit the notification bell if you're subscribed on YouTube and hit all notifications because you won't be notified of live streams and things like that are on mobile yep. now. They've added another step. Uh, we do new videos. Jeez. They go up every single night. I think it's 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern. I don't know. Check for yourself. And of course, join Mug Club. That's the only way this content is allowed to continue, including Change My Mind, where I'm violently assaulted. Yeah. By gender dysphoria and stay yeah. tuned for that. All right, Can't here wait. is another <laughs> claim from Governor Ralph Northam. That's him. Uh, and the media, they, they tried to paint this rally. Not only is racist, and we were, again, fooled by this. We had plans. We had booked travel yep. to go to this rally. And because the only information we had to go on was sort of this circular loop of the media and local law enforcement, we yeah. deemed it too risky for some of our crew members because we couldn't uh, get enough security to, to protect all of them. It's not just myself. Anyway, they tried to paint this rally not just as racist, but overwhelmingly violent. We are seeing threats of violence. We're seeing threats of armed confrontation and assault. Can't speak for yourself, Capitol. Governor Northam. But we have received <laughs> credible <laughs> why is, why is Justin Trudeau in from the our back? law enforcement agencies <laughs> that there are groups so weird. with malicious <laughs> plans for the rally that is planned for Monday. This includes out-of-state militia groups and hate groups planning to travel from across the country to disrupt our democratic process with acts of violence. They are not coming to peacefully protest. They are coming to intimidate and to cause harm. Uh, On the Capitol grounds, they chanted Northam out, referencing Virginia's Democratic governor. Ahead of today's demonstration, the governor declared a state of emergency and banned all weapons on Capitol grounds. But outside that secured area, many demonstrators were heavily armed. Look at them. They look like soldiers there, some wearing body armor. Uh, and there are fears there could be violence, uh, particularly from white extremists. Do you know why they're wearing body armor? Because of you! <laughs> you told them they were going to get shot! And they said, well, I guess we should have some body armor. Like, can you believe that these clowns have body armor? Yeah, 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 I can! They look like soldiers, Steve. Yeah, it's not that tough weird. of a sell! <laughs> By the way, the event, truth, truth, they're claiming it was entirely peaceful. No. Okay. <laughs> CNN, they even ran a Chiron that seemed downright disappointed. Look, it says, pro gun rally ends peacefully despite fears of extremist <laughs> violence. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of course, we are all thrilled that there was no violence. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, I typically wouldn't suspect violence when I see people who are carrying firearms because uh, they tend to be law abiding citizens. <laughs> but I'm glad that at least now Governor Northam concerns himself with violence in his own state. So in this particular example, uh, if a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. Uh, here's the Jeez. thing with that that's so uncomfortable. He never oh, even man. real, you know how someone talks themselves into yeah. a corner? And we've yeah. all done that at some point where we're going, oh, you know what? This may sound bad, right. even though it's not how I mean to say this. Let me communicate it in a different way. And you pivot it. At, at no point nope. there no, did he realize, oh, I'm I'm advocating for uh, the birth of a baby and then the murder. Let me sidestep. He's like, no, I feel good about this. <laughs> I'm committed. I'm it's going to continue right down this it. path because yeah. I know at the end of this primrose path is some shoe polish and tuba lipstick. <laughs> 
And by the way, the most telling part of the rally, you mentioned uh, Antifa. Antifa did show up to this rally. Yeah. As we know, uh, they have been historically violent. You're talking Very about much. hundreds of arrests. It's their mission statement. It's like Jerry Maguire yeah, putting it in everyone's work box that, you know, because he gets inspired in the middle of the night. That's how you hang your balls out there. Antifa showed up, but they were notably more subdued. A better world is possible! A better world is possible! Revolution, nothing less! Revolution, nothing less! Revolution, nothing less! Revolution, nothing less! Trump heads out now! Trump heads out now! Trump heads out now! <laughs> well, hold on a second. What, ha- what happened to all the, the all of the uh, the concrete and yeah, the, the yeah, hammers right? and the yeah. punching and the and, and the screaming at Nazis? I guess uh, you throw in a couple of guys who are obviously open carrying, and that concrete milkshake pit stop at Mickey D's gets put on the back burner. Hi, huh, you little prick. <laughs> I love that. I wonder why that could be Antifa. Do we know why they could have possibly? Hmm. Could it be fire? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Keeps you from acting yes. a fool. Okay. And also important, by the way, if so Antifa yes. had been violent, which yeah. they usually are, would the media have reported it? Remember, the Ben Shapiro's yeah. Utah event where Antifa passed out weapons to yours truly and my producers, and two of them were arrested later on that <laughs> night? According to the press, it was entirely peaceful. They didn't even have an interest in procuring the footage that the, the police officers were combing over from us. Yep. They could yeah. not care any less. If we talk about the statistics, people always try and get into, okay, statistics, this person may have been mentally disturbed versus fatherless, that's a big one, fatherless, this person may have been right-wing, may, mm-hmm. may have been left-wing. The one statistic that is completely undeniable is that over 90% of mass shootings occur in gun-free zones. Exactly. If you're going to find one through line, now it doesn't mean always, okay, I'm not saying 100% of the time, but there certainly is a more consistent statistic in them occurring in gun-free zones yeah. than yeah. anything else that you can pick out, whether it's a shaved head, whether it's that he has blonde eyes, whether it's that he liked the mm-hmm. Candace Owens blonde post. Eyes. No, it is gun-free zones. Yes. I think the number used to be like 90, it's somewhere between 92 and 97% of the time, depending which source yeah. you use. And something yeah. else that's really important, I, I know that this sounds maybe a little bit pedestrian because people make the point, they say, you know what stops a bad guy with a gun, a good guy with a gun. And then you have liberals going, really? A good guy with a gun? Most of the time it's the police. Okay, here's the thing. How did the police stop him? Every single bad guy with a gun is stopped by a good guy with a gun. The good guy with a gun may be uniformed or maybe not. Yeah. Guess yeah. what? What do you think happens if the cop is a truancy officer with a billy club? Hey, it's 2.30. You're supposed to be in home at, kid. He's going to get <laughs> deaded. <laughs> He's going to die it. It's because the yeah. cops show up yeah. with firearms. And this is what's so dangerous to me. A lot of people, and I get it, people just bitch about the mainstream media, or sometimes they say the lamestream media. And <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, Democrats. Uh, <laughs> ripped. Okay. But here's what matters when you're talking about the Second Amendment and this. The Second Amendment, yeah, grants the right of the people. The people make up the militia. The whole idea is this is a separate militia. We're not talking about a national military. We are talking about people forming a militia. When you look at these bills, they say, hold on a second, this is only going to affect uh, those who are looking to cause civil unrest or those who are looking to intimidate people at public rallies. That's a big piece. That's the piece that bothers me most about this legislation. Well, hold on a second. How is that determined? Yeah, Look yeah. at the media coverage. They wanted to paint, as half Asian lawyer Bill pointed out, everyone there as either part of a militia or at the very least creating civil unrest. So isn't this a brilliant ploy? The Second Amendment should apply to everyone except for those who may want to cause civil unrest or intimidate people. Really, what qualifies as civil unrest or intimidating people? Everyone at this rally or anybody with a Facebook post that says, Governor Ralph Northam, go home or kick north them out. We're hearing kill, kill. We're hearing they should forego their Second Amendment rights. Isn't that a beautiful logic circular loop that then short circuits enough that you eventually end up playing blackface so often you don't know whether you're the governor of Virginia or prime minister of Canada. Your guess is as good as mine. (laughs) If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe or hit the notification bell in one of these buttons or watch another video. Um, But you know, the the thing is you don't... um, I mean, you don't, you don't have to. Uh, I mean, I, I'd, I'd like it if you did. You know, you know, put a lot of effort into it. And, you know, whatever you want.